China has successfully launched its largest carrier rocket, the Long March 5B. The rocket was carrying a new generation spacecraft that separated successfully from the rocket and entered its planned orbit. All this is part of China's plans to operate a permanent space station. Deep within a shielded command center in Beijing, a final command is given. A powerful Long March 5 rocket is already in space, its secret payload now accelerating on a precise course for Mars. Its target is not the red planet itself, but something far stranger that will meet it there. The largest remaining piece of the interstellar wanderer, 3I Atlas. While NASA was still analyzing the object's terrifying data, China's space agency made a bold move. They're planning to capture a piece of another solar system, and they're doing it in total secrecy. A visitor like no other. In the vast, silent theater of space, objects come and go. Comets and asteroids, born in our own solar system, swing by on predictable paths. We have seen thousands of them. But a few years ago, astronomers spotted something different. It was an object from the blackness between the stars, a true interstellar traveler. They named it 3I Atlas. From the very beginning, it was a puzzle. Its trajectory was just weird. It wasn't moving like a normal comet. It was moving faster and on a path that suggested it had been traveling through the void for millions, maybe even billions, of years. As it got closer to our sun, it started to brighten, just as a comet should. But what happened next left astronomers speechless. Instead of developing a clean, beautiful tail, Atlas simply fell apart. It didn't explode. It just disintegrated into a cloud of fragments for no apparent reason. The sun wasn't close enough to tear it apart with heat or gravity. It was as if it just... dissolved. But the thing nobody tells you is that this wasn't the strangest part. As powerful telescopes, including the Hubble, zoomed in on the debris cloud, they detected something that sent a shockwave through the scientific community. The light reflecting off some of the fragments wasn't the signature of ice or rock. It was the signature of refined, processed metal. This changed everything. It was no longer a comet. It was an artifact, and it had broken apart like a package being unwrapped. The story was quickly downplayed, explained away as an oddball comet made of strange materials. But behind the scenes, a quiet race began. What was this thing? A natural object carrying metals from a supernova? Or was it something else? A probe? A ship? A piece of technology from a civilization that died out eons ago? The questions were too big to ignore. The biggest piece of the object, a chunk several hundred feet across, continued on its path, a silent ghost tumbling through the darkness. For a while, it seemed like its secrets would remain locked away. But then, new tracking data from a joint Harvard and NASA project revealed its final destination. It wasn't going to hit Earth, but its orbit was going to intersect perfectly with another planet in our system, Mars. The ghost from interstellar space was heading for a rendezvous with the red planet. This new information was terrifying for a simple reason. A potential impact on Mars would obliterate the fragment, turning its secrets into dust. But for the China National Space Administration, or CNSA, it was not a threat. It was the opportunity of a lifetime. But why was China so prepared to chase a ghost? Tianwen's secret sister. While the rest of the world's space agencies were still scrambling to understand the data on 3I Atlas, China was already moving. You see, what many people overlooked was that China had been planning for a moment just like this for over a decade. Their official space program, the one they show to the world, is incredibly impressive. They have landed rovers on Mars with their Tianwen-1 mission and brought back samples from the moon. But there is another side to their program, one that is spoken of only in whispers in the intelligence community. A rapid response division designed for unexpected opportunities. They call the mission Tianshu, which translates to Heavenly Hand. The name itself tells you everything you need to know. This is not a mission of observation. It is a mission of capture. The plan, laid out in classified documents, is one of the most complex and audacious ever conceived. It involves a multi-stage spacecraft launched on their most powerful rocket, 
the Long March 5. The mission profile is breathtaking. The Tian Shou probe is designed to first enter into orbit around Mars, using the planet's gravity to slow down and match the trajectory of the Atlas fragment. This alone is a feat that has taken other nations years to achieve. But this is just the beginning. Once in orbit, the probe will perform a series of complex maneuvers to get close to the spinning, tumbling piece of alien rock and metal. Then, the main spacecraft will deploy a secondary probe, a catcher's mitt over 300 feet wide. This is not a solid object, but a massive, ultra-lightweight net made of a carbon nanofiber composite. A material ten times stronger than steel but as light as a feather. The idea is to envelop the fragment, not grab it, slowly bringing its chaotic spin under control without shattering it. Once the object is secured in the net, a set of small thrusters will activate, gently pushing the entire package into a stable, high orbit around Mars. To put it mildly, this is like trying to catch a speeding, spinning bullet with a butterfly net, all from millions of miles away. The thing is, the speed and secrecy with which China is moving have stunned Western observers. They didn't announce a new program. They simply repurposed a pre-existing classified satellite platform. The hardware was already built, waiting for a target. While NASA was holding press conferences and proposing theoretical missions that would take 10 years to plan, China was already on the launch pad. This raises a chilling question. Did they just get lucky, or did they know something was coming? The perfect hiding place. So, why Mars? Why attempt this unbelievably complex mission so far from home, where the risks are a hundred times greater? The answer is a stroke of strategic genius, a masterclass in cosmic chess that reveals just how seriously China is taking this. Using Mars as a staging ground is the key to the entire operation, for reasons that are both brilliant and, frankly, a little terrifying. First, there's the simple, brutal physics of it all. The Atlas fragment isn't just drifting, it's screaming through the solar system at an incredible speed, over 50,000 miles per hour. For any spacecraft to catch it, it has to match that speed perfectly. Trying to do that in the emptiness of deep space would be like a person trying to catch a speeding bullet with their bare hands. It would require a spacecraft to burn an insane amount of fuel, making the mission impossibly heavy and expensive. But by letting the fragment get close to Mars, China can use the planet's massive gravity as a free break. It's a technique called a gravity assist, a cosmic billiard shot that allows the Tianzhou probe to use Mars itself to slow down and swing into the perfect intercept course. This maneuver alone saves years of travel time and tons of precious fuel, making the impossible possible. Second, Mars provides the perfect out-of-the-way laboratory. The thing is, if they brought an object of this importance back to Earth's orbit, it would be the single most watched object in the sky. It would be under the constant, unblinking gaze of every other nation's spy satellites and military telescopes. The political pressure from the United Nations, the United States, and Russia to share the findings would be immense. But by parking it in a stable orbit around Mars, China buys itself time, and more importantly, secrecy. The communication delay between Earth and Mars is anywhere from five to 20 minutes each way. That makes real-time hacking or electronic interference almost impossible. They can study their prize, probe it, and analyze it far from the prying eyes of their rivals. To put it bluntly, they are creating their own private moon around another planet, a moon that might hold the keys to the universe. But what if there's another reason for choosing Mars? What if it's not just about secrecy, but about safety? If this object is a piece of alien technology, Who's to say it's completely inert? What if it carries dormant microscopic life or emits a strange form of radiation we don't understand? Choosing Mars could be an act of planetary quarantine. China may be taking the cautious approach, deciding to study this potentially dangerous artifact at a safe distance of 150 million miles, just in case opening this cosmic bottle releases something they can't control. The risks, however, remain astronomical. The launch window to get to Mars on this exact trajectory was so narrow they had only a few days to get it right. They had to launch at the perfect moment, or they would miss their chance entirely. The entire mission is a high-wire act of automation. The stakes are higher than any mission in history, and failure is not an option. 
Reverse Engineering the Stars Let's be real for a moment. This mission isn't just about rocks and ice. People watching this know that no country would spend billions of dollars and risk a massive international incident just to study an unusual comet. The data from Hubble was clear. There is metal inside 3I Atlas. Not just raw iron or nickel from an asteroid, but processed, refined metals. This leads to the one theory that makes sense of China's insane gamble. They believe 3I Atlas is not a natural object. They believe it's a piece of alien technology. This isn't as crazy as it sounds. For years, many people have been obsessed with the Fermi paradox. If the universe is full of life, where is everybody? One possible answer is that civilizations rise and fall, and all that's left of them is their technology, drifting silently through the void like cosmic shipwrecks. What if Atlas is one of those wrecks, a probe from a long-dead civilization, or even a piece of a ship destroyed in a conflict we can't even imagine? The object's strange disintegration makes more sense if you think of it not as a comet breaking up, but as a damaged machine finally falling apart after a million-year journey. The thing is, this opens up a whole new set of terrifying questions. If it was a probe, what was its mission? Was it a simple explorer, or was it a weapon? If it was a ship, who were its passengers? And what catastrophe befell them so far from their home? The silence of Atlas is what's most unsettling. It's the silence of a ghost, a remnant of a story whose beginning and end are completely lost to us. From this perspective, China's Qianshu mission is not scientific exploration. It's a salvage operation on an unprecedented scale. They are not trying to answer questions about the origins of the universe. They are trying to get their hands on technology that could be thousands or even millions of years ahead of our own. Think about what that would mean. A new power source could end our reliance on fossil fuels overnight, but it could also be turned into a weapon capable of leveling a continent. Faster than light travel would open up the stars, but it would also give one nation the ability to strike any point on Earth from space with zero warning. The nation that successfully reverse engineers this technology wouldn't just be a world power, they would be the undisputed masters of the planet. It would be a bigger leap forward than the discovery of fire or the splitting of the atom, instantly rendering every other country on Earth technologically obsolete and defenseless. This is the real prize, this is why China is moving with such speed and secrecy. They are not in a race for knowledge that they plan to share with the world in a scientific journal. They are in a race for ultimate power, a power that has been delivered to our cosmic doorstep. What many overlooked is the sheer scale of this potential paradigm shift. All our current conflicts, our economic rivalries and our political squabbles would become meaningless overnight. The country that holds alien technology holds the keys to humanity's future, and they would be the only one writing the rules. Is it possible that we are missing an even more profound detail? Perhaps the metal signature wasn't just a simple alloy. Some theorists, looking at the limited data, have suggested the light patterns are consistent with materials that have been engineered at a molecular level level, so-called programmable matter. This isn't just a strong or light material, it's a substance that can be instructed to change its shape, properties, and function. If that's true, China isn't just capturing a piece of a machine. They could be capturing the secret to creating anything they can imagine. They could build self-repairing cities, shape-shifting vehicles, or tools that assemble themselves out of thin air. To put it mildly, it's the closest thing to magic that science could ever conceive. The ultimate prize isn't just a piece of technology, it's the very blueprint of creation itself. China is betting its future on capturing a ghost from another star. If they succeed and find alien technology, should they share it with the world, or would that be the most dangerous secret in human history? Let us know what you think. And for more that will change the way you see the universe, make sure to like and subscribe.